Tower, built in 1947, was blown up by explosives experts. But locals say they are still concerned about the safety of asbestos, which is stored on the site. Five new thermal power stations under construction, three using beef, two using coal. Ireland expects to double production of electricity by 1954. Port Arlington was to the forefront of the Midlands industrial development. In 1947, Eamon de Valera came here to open the country's first sod-peat burning station. Its cooling tower was 238 feet high. 150 people worked around it for over 40 years, but this morning it was demolished. Well, it's sad to see it go, you know, but really and truly they had no option but to take it down. In my man. Later, even a local musician got in on the act as the fuse was lit. But shortly after half past ten, the area was evacuated. The explosive experts gave the all clear, and 2,800 tons of concrete came crashing down. Seems maybe a bit of a carnival atmosphere, but it's like the, I think Bastille Day and the the guillotine coming down on people and all the crowds out cheering. But uh, when they go home, they suddenly wonder. I mean, was it worth it? Ah, but now it is gone. Asbestos remains to be removed from the power station, but this morning's events will stay in local folklore. The power that I have loved.